forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, the warmest day since October 25th in this forecast. We could be at 70, 72 in places on Saturday, but we're going to get into a pretty wet weather pattern around here. Front's going to stall. And between Saturday night and Wednesday, it still looks like two to three inches of rain. Pretty good bed around here with warmer than normal weather settling in for a while. That's the good news in this forecast. 27 tonight, Rochester, Winnemac, and Rensselaer, however, but 32 Lafayette and Romney down to Thorntown and 30 at Frankfurt, followed by highs tomorrow that look a little bit warmer. Raise them a little bit from 6 o'clock. 61 at Morocco and Pine Village, 60 Fowler, 59 Lafayette, Linden, Romney to about 58 at Frankfurt. Slightly cooler down here in our southeast because I think there actually may be a little bit more cloudiness down there. Now Friday, a little backdoor cold front will slide in from the north and the northeast. So as this moves southward, I think it will stay relatively cool, if you will. Rochester down to Logansport, mid to upper 50s there. 60, 61 Burlington, but 65 Lafayette, 66 though at Attica. Notice on future cast, tonight winds varying more to the southeast and with some of that high mid-level cloudiness around. Again, not as cool tonight as it was last night. Tomorrow looks okay. Well, the south to southwest wind, partly cloudy skies, not bad. Partly cloudy tomorrow night, south and southwest winds. And we stay out of the south and southwest with the wind uh, for a good chunk of Friday, especially in our southern counties where that front slides through the entire area once we get into Friday evening, Friday night, dropping us into the low 40s before the front goes back north on Saturday. And notice the time stamp up here. This is around 1045 Friday evening. A few more clouds around. That's the front working back northward. That'll bathe us in warmth once we get into Saturday. But as we get into Saturday night, Sunday, and right up to Wednesday of next week, front will stall and kind of wobble back and forth across the area. Several little waves of low pressure on that front, so several rounds of showers and storms before the main low gets through here on Wednesday. At least right now, Saturday night, Sunday, and even into Monday and Tuesday, severe weather threat looks to stay just southwest and south of our viewing area. We'll keep an eye on it. Tuesday night, Wednesday, it could get about as far north as Evansville. And I tell you, this weekend there could be some pretty nasty, violent, severe weather down in Oklahoma, Arkansas, and parts of Texas. We may dodge the severe weather, at least the way it looks right now, but we will not dodge the widespread rainfall. That will add up over several days to two to three inches. These will be the totals by Wednesday expected, Wednesday evening that is. Around two inches Frankfurt down to Thorntown, Crawfordsville, perhaps two and a quarter Lafayette. And around three inches perhaps, Remington up to Rensselaer, over two and a half Rochester. Good news is it's going to fall over several days. It's not going to fall at once. And we may squeeze in one reasonably dry day on Monday with 60s after that 71 Saturday. And even, even next Wednesday, 66 for the high. That's not too bad of a forecast in terms of the temperature. No doubt. And those overnight lows in the 50s. I like the sound of that, <laughs> yeah. too. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Chad.